Hello and welcome to your Lone Star College math course. I'm Professor O'Neill and this is the course walkthrough video. In this video I'm going to show you all of the resources and links you need to know and use in order to be successful in the course. So let's get started. D2L is the main place that you're going to need to go daily to access all of the videos, the lectures, the assignments, your gradebook, everything for this course is administered and accessed through D2L. So once you click into your math course, I'm just using this course as an example, you're going to want to start at the Start Here module. In the Start Here module, you're going to have the syllabus, which you need to click on and read thoroughly. You're going to be expected to know all of the syllabus requirements, and I will hold you accountable to those. Next, we have a link to the tentative schedule with modules and links. And this is also in the syllabus, but if you ever need to go to the tentative schedule just to see what's going on this week, I've made a, a link to it here so you can look at it quickly. All right, beyond the syllabus, the next thing you'll need to know is how to set up your Alex account. This semester we'll be using Alex for all of the homework quizzes and exams. If you click this link and you've never had an Alex account before, it will take you to account registration where you can create your account and get into our Alex course. That is the only link in this module. Moving on to the resources module. Here in this module, we have how to show scratch work. So scratch work is vital to your success in my classes because you will not get credit for any correct answer on any quiz or exam without appropriate scratch work submitted correctly. So I have a short video. This link will take you to the video that I made that shows you how to use Adobe Scan to correctly scan, crop, combine, and upload your scratch work to the appropriate D2L Dropbox. I'll go ahead and mention that Adobe Scan is free to use for both Android and iOS. And no, you don't have to pay for anything. You may have to set up an account, but you can use it free to scan multiple pages of scratch work and combine them into a single PDF file. And that's what I show in this video. Next, I have a sample of good scratch work. If you're wondering what good scratch work would look like, what I expect from you, then you want to click the sample scratch work and actually go through and look at the things I have listed here that make it good scratch work. Next, in the resources tab, how to extend access to your Alex course. If you register with Alex using their temporary access, which gives you two weeks to use the system without paying, you will have to extend access to your class. If you're not sure how to do that, the steps are listed in this document. Next, there is a formula sheet that you are allowed to use on quizzes and exams. I would suggest that you go ahead and print this out for your benefit. All right, next, we will have a midterm and final exam in most of my classes. In this particular course, there is only a final exam, and I do have a practice final with an answer key that you can use to prepare for that test. Also, I have uploaded my class notes that I have done in previous classes. So if you want to go through and look at class notes, maybe to go through and get an idea of what's going to be covered in the next class, or I don't know if you like to have printed out notes to go through, but here's class notes if you think those might help you. And that's going to do it for the resources module. Next, we have lessons by module. This will be links to my video lectures on every section covered in the class. And these uh, videos are grouped by module and a module corresponds to a homework assignment. So if you want to know what's going to be on homework number one, well, it's going to be content from all of the lessons covered in module one. Again, these are the lecture videos for the class where I basically teach you how to do the course content in each section. All right, moving on to the homework assignments link. In the homework 
Assignments module, I have a sub-module for every homework assignment. So if you click on Homework 1, you're going to see that there's a link to the assignment. Clicking this link will take you directly to the homework assignment in Alex. And then the link below that is a link to my YouTube channel and this will open up a playlist that has an example of every problem covered in this homework. So if you're working on homework one and you run into number let's say number 13 you don't understand how to do and the Alex help is not really helping then what you'll want to do is open this playlist go to that particular homework problem and watch me work a problem like it. If you use the Alex Helps, they have tools in Alex that will help walk you through problems. And if you watch the video, if you do all of that and you're still stuck, what you should do is take a picture with your phone of the problem you're working on, or maybe take a picture of your scratch work and text it to me. And then ask me whatever your question is. Like, I don't know how I got this wrong. I'm not sure how to set this up. You know, why didn't uh, Alex count this correct? Any questions that you have, you can always take a picture with your phone and text me. And I will usually respond instantly or at least within a few minutes. All right, notice that I do have a homework assignment module here for every homework assignment. Again, there is also a sample problem playlist for every homework assignment. Next we have quizzes. Just like the homework assignments, the quizzes have a sub-module for every quiz. And if you click on say quiz one, the first link will take you to the quiz in Alex where you can complete the assignment. Notice it says uh, that you have one attempt and it's timed and then you must submit your scratch work within 20 minutes after completing the quiz. So as soon as you you know click the submit button you need to pull out your phone with Adobe scan and scan your scratch work the way I showed you in the video and then come to this link and drop it in the Dropbox. Again if you have any questions at all about scratch work submission or uploading it, please text me. So again, here we have a sub-module for every quiz. And then last but not least, we have exam. Now in some courses, it'll say exam links. Since I only have a final exam in this class, it says final exam link. Uh, I haven't actually completed the final exam for this class, so there is no link to the assignment in Alex yet, but there will be. And then there will also be a link for you to upload your scratch work to the D2L Dropbox. The grade book for this class is in D2L. Notice this link right here that says grades. If you click it, it'll take you to your D2L grade book. And Alex is supposed to automatically import your grades from Alex to D2L as soon as you submit any assignment. So as soon as you submit uh, homework one, that grade would show up in the grade book. I think you do have unlimited attempts at the homeworks. So if you submit a homework and it's not 100%, you can go back, work on it some more, fix whatever you got wrong, and then resubmit it. Uh, that should uh, update your grade in uh, D2L as you increase your score in Alex. And I believe that's going to do it for everything in the course. Uh, the last thing I would say, super important, if you have any questions about anything I said, anything in D2L, or maybe you have set questions about something I didn't mention that I should have, uh, what you should do is text me right now. Text me while you're thinking about it. Later, if you have a question, pull out your phone and text me. Uh, I keep saying text because you're going to get a faster response if you text me versus if you send me an email. But if you prefer to email, that's fine too. And uh, last but not least, I am here to help. Okay, I will do whatever I can to help you succeed in this course, but you're going to have to do your part. Okay, no outside resources, no uh, photo math, no math way, no graphing calculator, go to tutoring if you need it. I should be your first resource though if you need help. Uh, but if I'm not helping, that's a big issue if I'm not helping, but 
If you need additional help, go to tutoring, get a tutor, but make sure that you understand all of the syllabus guidelines, especially those related to completing your quizzes and exams uh, and related to scratch work. Okay, again, if you have any questions, text me. I hope you have a great semester. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll be talking to you.